Hi guys and welcome to this WordPress Elementor tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, what we're going to do in this, this video here today is put together a quick multi-page site using the Elementor plugin. Elementor is free and it, it really is a great plugin uh, for putting sites together quickly and, and effectively. So I've got a basic WordPress setup here. It's a blank WordPress setup. I've just called it Elementor. Let's go ahead and install that plugin. So I'm going to go down to plugins. I'm in the dashboard. I'm going to hit add new. And I'm simply going to type in Elementor. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. and activate it. Okay, there we go. We've got our Elementor installed. So we need to create some pages. I guess what I'm going to do first is customize it and put my logo in the top there. So if I hit the appearance then customizer, which is what I just did. The moment there's the title of our site and there's the tagline. I just want to put a little logo in there. So let's go to site identity and here we have it Elementor. Just another WordPress site. I don't want to display that at the top of my page. I do want to put a logo in there. Well, there's a logo. You want to remember to make your logo square. I'm using the 2017 free WordPress theme here. I don't need to crop that. There, we've got our logo up here. Now our menu will appear here when we build it. Like I say, I'm using the 2017 theme here. If I just go to the dashboard. They've got appearance and then themes. I'm using the 2017, not the 2019, because for some reason 2019 puts a blog roll at the end of each page. And I'm, well, I don't want that. So I'm just using the 2017. And if it's not installed by default with your WordPress install, you can just add new theme. Type in 2017 if you want to follow along with this one. When you first install 2017, it may have this image at the top of your page. We go back to our customizer. Now that we've got our site identity taken care of. If you look at the header media, there's the picture that's going to appear in the, the header. You can hide it. I've actually done that here. That's why it's not there. Or add a new image. Or you can put a video up there. I'm just hiding it. So I'm going to have my own site from scratch. So when we're happy, we'll publish that. Now we need to actually create a new page. So let's go down to pages and hit add new. I'll give it a title. I'm going to just call it home page. Very imaginative. Down here on the right hand side, we want to go down to page attributes. It may be closed up. If it is, just open it. And I want to put Elementor full width. And no parent, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Hit the publish button at the top there. It's published. Now I'm going to say edit with Elementor, with this blue button at the top here. And I'm going to use some of their default pages by, by you know, as soon as you install it, it, it creates a bunch of templates that you can use. Or it's got widgets that you can add if you want to customize. But for this video today, I'm just going to use some templates and get this done quickly. So I'm going to go over here, that little file icon. 
and as you can see it comes with a bunch of templates here some of these are only available in pro if you mouse over and it says go pro it means that's only available in the pro version but there's plenty to choose from free version wise here so i'm going to go ahead and insert this one and it's got to load the images and what have you so it takes a couple of seconds there we are we pretty much got a our home page done right there that's fine we we'll just leave it just like that to edit any of these you see a little pencil icon on the corner of each module here if you want to edit that module you just hit that pencil pencil icon and it's got your contents here you can just edit that really easy type in what you want title description obviously there's all different kinds of stuff you can do here We'll cover that in different videos but just to change change whatever you can actually type it directly in this box as well to make changes once you made a change just hit the update button down there and we're good and the little eye icon just to the left of it you can preview your changes Okay, so there's, that's what our home page is going to look like. Now we need to set this as the actual home page. And to do that, we want to go to our customizer again. Theme customizer, which is dashboard, appearance and customize. I'll go down there and show you just one more time. If you're in your dashboard, it's appearance and then customize. Now, if you go down, you'll see home page settings. We've got to tell it which page we want to appear as our home page or front page. Click on the static page radio button and select your page. I've only got one, which is home. Of course, they got the sample page in there. And for a post page, we can, we're not going to have a blog post on this one. So I'll leave that for the time being. But that's where you'd select your blog page if you were going to have a blog. Let's go ahead and publish this. There we go. If we now exit this and visit our site, it's now going to show us our home page. So there's a front page. Let's quickly add some more pages, then put, put a menu together and add it all together. OK, let's just hit this one and go back to our dashboard and add another page. Exit the dashboard. I'm going to close that page out there. I'm going to add another page yet again, or you can do it from the plus button up at the top there. I guess we'll call this about. And again, I'll just use some templates for expediency. Over here, default template, I want to have a full width, element of full width, not the canvas, the full width. The canvas will take away your menu area at the top. And I think you really need the pro version to be able to add your own there. Publish, publish, edit with Elementor. I'm going to use another template. Now uh, let's just grab this one for expediency. Yes. There we go. Now we've got our about page. Update to save the changes. Let's go back to the dashboard. You can preview it if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to exit to the dashboard. I'm going to add another page. New page. We'll do it this time, this way, this time. Services. Again, full width. Publish. Publish. 
edit with Elementor. Another template. So I don't want to dig too deep. Let's just use this one. That's a, that's a little about page, but that's fine. I'm going to use that one anyway. There's that one. Update. One more. New page. I will say portfolio. Again, full width, publish, publish again, edit with Elementor. Now, I'm not sure I haven't got any contact form plugins like contact form seven installed here so i'm not sure if we can do a contact page but i'll put one in anyway and like i said before these are all the same just click on it if you want to add your own text uh, click on the little pencil icon you can add a URL to make your button go to and style your button how you want same with images and blurbs and things like this image box change the image just by selecting the image contents right there it's all pretty self-explanatory and like I say for a free plugin you get an awful lot here okay so let's update this and finally let's just do a quick contact page exit the dashboard New page. Contact. And again, I'm going to make it full width. Obviously, if you want a sidebar, don't make it full width. And you can use traditional widgets and integrate it that way. But I'm, I prefer to have full width. Publish. Publish. Edit with Elementor. And we'll see if we can find a little contact template but like i say i've got no mail contact form type plugin installed at the moment we'll do that another time yeah i don't see any particular contact one there all these oh here's one that's not Just go ahead and put that one in. There we go. And I'm going to update. I'm going to exit to the dashboard. And we've got several pages now. So all we need to do is create a menu to link them together so we can actually get to them. Because at the moment, if I go to the front page, let's go to the dashboard. I visit the site here at the moment you'll see that first page but there's no way of actually navigating to our other pages so let's go ahead and do that let's go down to appearance down to menus and it's already put a main menu name in there that works fine for me and here are the pages that we created contact portfolio services about home put a checkbox in the ones that you want to add 
Don't want to add the sample page. Can do if you want to. Add to menu. And they've automatically put them in the menu here. And they're the wrong way around. So I want it to be home first. Contact last. And all I'm doing is left clicking and dragging when it's got that cross icon. About second. Portfolio and services doesn't really matter. Now I want to save the menu. There we go. Menu's been saved. Main has been applied, updated. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my customizer. We've got our menu created. And here's the menus button right here. Let's click on it. View all locations. Top menu, which is this up here. I want to select main, which is the name of that menu. There we are. Now we've got our menu up here. Let's publish that. If I go back to this page here and refresh, our menu should now appear. There we go. And let's check out our other pages. We've got our home page. Got the about page. Like I say, I've not put a lot of thought, thought into this, but just demonstrates how quickly you can put a little site together with Elementor. I mean, you could use the same template on each page and just customize it that way so it's got more of a consistent theme. Like I say, I've not put a lot of thought into this, but obviously you're going to want to if you're building a site. But like I say, for putting together a site quickly without using any paid plugins or paid themes, Elementor is absolutely awesome. So there you have it. Let's go back to our home. The logo should take us there. That is how to quickly put a multi page site together with the Elementor free plugin. What's that taking about 15 minutes or so to put a little one, two, three, four, five page site together. Obviously, you're going to, want to edit the content, but that's so easy to do. It's not a problem. We'll be doing some customized sections in future videos. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses. There's also some premium courses down there with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.